Jack Jack the game. Going after power. Yeah. Out of here. So Jack is chasing after power and he's not going to let him get off the hook. And Jack is throwing at power. Got to get in there. Now, Owen oh, Beck's in there as well, talking to Power. Right? Jack, he might get a two and a ten for this, but in his defense, he kept his gloves on. Power right knew he was coming, and that's a penalty that the Tabs are probably willing to let Arbor Jack I take, especially in an exhibition preseason game. We're not five minutes into this game, and there is already. Some ill will and the frustration for Montreal boiling over. Now it's tough for Paré because he didn't do that on purpose. But you have to know you're going to step on the ice. This is going to happen. He doesn't want to engage with Jack Eye. That's understandable. That is way out of his weight class. Jack Eye keeps his gloves on, doesn't hold up at all. I'm not sure what Paré did there to get a penalty. That's it. And that's Jack Eye on the refs for not making the call on line to begin with. Are they tossing no, Jack out here? They're getting Parry out of the box because he didn't do anything. He just he got punched in the head. You don't get a penalty for that. They've opened the door to the Montreal penalty box. They're, yeah. Maybe just trying to calm him down a little bit. No. I don't think so. I think he's leaving. 2-5-10. Can you get that when the other guy doesn't fight back? And this is exactly what you don't want to have happen in an exhibition game where it devolves into this sort of thing. Valley of Montreal, number 72, two minute instigator, five fighting, 10 minute misconduct, and a game misconduct for aggressor. So he gets an aggressor penalty on top. So it was a 2 5 10, which is rarely called when the other player is not fighting at all. Like right. You're getting a fighting major, but the other guy doesn't get a penalty. But I think the aggressor is appropriate there. So this is a seven minute power play for Toronto. 